You ask Michael Irvin what football weather is. <laughs> he will not describe what the conditions in Cleveland will be oh, or expect to be. Well. He certainly will not describe what the conditions in Western New York will be for Saturday night. Irv and I agree on this. Irv thinks football weather is Florida weather. Football weather is 72. (laughs) It is sunny. The turf is, you can eat off it. No wind. No mud. (laughs) No wintry mix. Nothing. Nothing but blue sky and beautiful weather. That's football weather to him. So when a team from, say, Miami, Florida, South Florida, is going to have to play in this weather in a big-time football game in front of the whole country. Well, we're all thinking this team is not going to perform well. Okay? Miami Dolphins are a mammal out of water. Again, mammal. dolphin is not a fish. <laughs> Let's get it all straight. So this is the whole conversation going on right now. Oh, yeah. Just add this to the mix of the Dolphins are stumbling. The Dolphins have been figured out offensively. Tua is not as great as he's appeared to be. Add to all those negative narratives, the general narrative that's been around forever. Forget about whether the Dolphins are on a losing streak or how Tua's looked the last two weeks or that Mike McDaniel's doing this for the first time, this being the coach of a... Playoff possible team, possible division winner in December. He's never done this before. Add to all of those negative narratives the fact that Miami can't perform well in the cold weather. How's McDaniel going to handle it? Well, we saw in practice on Wednesday wearing a T-shirt, I wish it were colder. Now, (laughs) this T-shirt apparently is from training camp where he wore it in training camp when it was legit like 90 degrees out. Right. Having fun. I wish it were colder. He's bringing it back. He's recycling the T-shirt for now a different, like, hey, I wish it were colder. That's the mantra you need to have going in to Buffalo, New York on a Saturday night when the weather is supposed to be what, Christopher? Supposed to be? 25 degrees, six inches of snow, 15 mile an hour winds. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah. I mean, Josh Allen damn near won a divisional playoff game in Kansas City in that weather last year, minus the wintry mix. But here we go. Mike McDaniel, what do you have to say about the cold weather and how you're preparing? Go for it. To me, uh, you you just decide if you're going to let it factor in or not, um, and then you adjust as best you can. You know, there's there's certain things um, that become harder when there's uh, moisture or it hits a certain level of frigidness. But... You know, um, the good news is uh, there's not different atmospheres on, on both sidelines. So um, we will be playing um, the game in the same elements. And as a competitor, um, you know, uh, man for man for our football team, that, that's the objective is that you're, uh, you know, are you going to let the elements matter more to you than them? Uh, it is the same field, the same elements. So. Um, you just you just decide mentally um, how much you're going to let it affect you. There you go. It's a mental thing. It's a mental thing. If you're not thinking about it, you don't feel the fact that you can't feel your toes or your fingers or just like a Tony Gonzalez who's, you know, like Mr. Southern California oh when he's gosh. in the cold weather on Amazon Prime. He, I mean, his, he's got lockjaw. He looks miserable. Yes. <laughs> and then you hear... Is it true the Dolphins brought heaters into SoFi Stadium last week because it's not a dome stadium, it's just a canopy on top of an open roof stadium? Or is that is that just nasty rumor? Is it rumor or no, fact? No, that's fact. They had it was fifty-five degrees on Sunday yeah. night here in LA. You know, not exactly a dome stadium at SoFi, but yeah, they had heaters on the sideline. Oh heated yeah. Benches. SoFi is sneaky cold, man, because yeah. I know this sounds bad. Marine layer here in Southern California, and then the wind blows yeah. off of the ocean. It can get into the low 50s, which for here is nuts. Yeah, People but, around Los Angeles right. walk around like, do you know it was almost 40 degrees tonight? <laughs> we can't handle it. What if you're from South Florida? 
What if you're, say, a quarterback born in Hawaii who made his bones collegiately in the Southeast Conference where it's always sunny, right? Yep. What if that guy is already underneath the microscope because he hasn't played well for two straight weeks? What about that guy? Well, the good news for anybody who doubts Tua Tungo Vailoa is Salty Tua showed up on this subject. Oh. And that's the latest installment of Salty Tua. I don't know about you, but that looked like money. It's Salty Tua. Can you tell us back in the spring you actually went to a cold weather location? Yeah. What, can you tell us a story about that? Yeah, I went to Maryland um, to, to go visit my brother um, after the season. And uh, it was pretty cold up there. Uh, it was probably like in the 20s. Um, and there was snow on the ground too. So got to uh, test that out. Um, got to throw up there with a couple of his guys. So yeah, that was that was good. Had you seen snow before? Yeah, it snowed uh, in Alabama my first year. Yeah. So it snows in Alabama, guys. <laughs> I know. I mean, people don't know that. You know, there's some people that just think, oh, you know, it just gets cold now. But it, it does snow. It's Salty Tua. Not salty enough, as always. You as always, too nice. So much more salt. Hey, Tua, while you're giving the weather, you should give out the traffic, too. There's a 10 car pileup on IDGAF Parkway. <laughs> I would avoid. GFY Avenue, if I were you on my way to Western New York, come on, Tua. <laughs> Plant your foot. Tell everybody how cold it is in Alabama and how you used to hang out with your brother in 20 degree weather in Maryland and you've test driven this experience. This is it. Tua Tungo by Loa, two game losing streak. I'm going up into Buffalo, New York, and I am going to sling it around. And Tyreek Hill, by the way, he used to play in Kansas City all the time and stuff like this. This is no problem for him. Jalen Waddles from Alabama where, yeah, it snows. Traffic and weather together. On the ones to a Tungo Vailoa. Let's go. On NFL Network Saturday night. Bill, seven-point favorites. That said, I am not leaving my hotel, and I'm not going on the field in Cleveland for two seconds if it's 20-something <laughs> degrees. Are you out of your mind? I got my jacket, I got my hat, and I don't care. They catch me on the air with my hat, I'm a bald man. You take that <laughs> nonsense that I can't handle the cold. You know what? So what? Oh, baby. December football. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free. 